when I first started this channel, the one you're watching right now, my main focus was making videos about making money online because I wanted to encourage other people to pursue unique ways of making a little bit of extra money online. In the first bunch of videos that I made on here, I covered some of the ways that I personally made money online, such as selling an Instagram account for $25,000 and how much YouTube had paid me for my most viral video up until that moment. I also explored some of the ways that you can make money online doing things that I have no experience doing, such as posting videos on TikTok, streaming on Twitch, and selling feet pictures. Now, of all the ways to make money online, making money as a live streamer, specifically on Twitch, is something that has always intrigued me, but it's something that I don't know much about at all. I've never live streamed and as of right now, I don't know how to. Because of this, I've decided to run an experiment over the next 30 days where I try to achieve any amount of success as a live streamer, starting as a complete beginner. And to do this, I'm gonna be following one key piece of advice which is often shared by the top streamers when they're asked the question, how do you start a successful streaming career from zero? After 30 days of following this key piece of advice, I'll make a second follow-up video on here, revealing the results of this experiment, showing you whether or not I made any money, and from that, you can decide if this is a venture which you can consider as a legitimate source of income for yourself. So first of all, what is this key piece of advice that I've kind of been teasing that all of the top streamers seem to share when they're asked, what can you do to become a successful streamer when starting from zero? After watching all of the videos and reading all of the articles that I could on this topic, the one piece of advice that kept popping up about how to build a successful stream that people actually want to watch is that you should grow an audience outside of Twitch and then bring them over to Twitch. The reason that this approach is recommended by so many of the top streamers is because of the way that Twitch is set up, it's very hard to be discovered as a new beginner streamer, and here's why. When you go onto any category on Twitch, you'll be met with a page of streamers that are available to watch in that category. And you'll notice that pretty much all of these streamers already have lots of viewers, and that's because Twitch auto recommends highly viewed streams by default. Default, default, default. I don't know what the correct way to say that is. Because of this, if you decide to just go live and start streaming with no previous following, then you're not gonna appear anywhere near the top of the results in whatever category you decide to stream in. Instead, you're going to likely appear at the very bottom of whatever category you decide to stream in. My cat is uh, chasing my hands when I speak. This means that not a lot of people are going to stumble across your stream organically unless they're filtering the viewers by low to high, which is something that not a lot of people tend to do. So instead, to bump yourself up, gain some momentum, and appear higher up in the results of whatever category you decide to stream in, the advice shared by successful streamers is to build an audience on a different platform like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter, and then bring them over to Twitch. By taking this approach, you're immediately streaming to a group of people who already know and like you and enjoy your content. And from doing this, you'll hopefully attract more organic and new viewers, and from there, your popularity on Twitch will hopefully snowball. Well, that's the theory anyway. Thankfully, I've already got this build an audience elsewhere part of the to-do list checked off because over the past year and a half, I've built this YouTube channel to just over 200,000 subscribers. From that audience, I'm hoping there will be at least five or six of you who'd like to hang out with me and my cat whilst I bake some muffins on stream. So with the whole who is actually gonna watch my stream part of this equation hopefully covered, the next thing to consider is how am I actually gonna make money from doing this? Typically, people make money from Twitch directly in three different ways, from donations, from subscribers, and from ad revenue. To unlock these three ways of making money, I need to hit four requirements as laid out by Twitch so that I can join their affiliate program. The four requirements are 
are as follows. Within 30 days, I need to reach 50 followers. I need to stream for eight hours. I need to stream on seven different days and I need to have an average of three viewers on my streams. If I manage to hit all four of these requirements within 30 days, I can start making money from people subscribing, donating and watching the ads on my stream. So with the thought process behind this experiment explained and having laid out the goals of what I need to do to actually make money doing this, the next thing to consider is the tools that I need to actually make all of this possible. Because I want a lot of my streams to take place in my kitchen where I'll be baking cookies, muffins and meth, I need something that's portable enough to move around easily and powerful enough to handle the streams. This brings me to the sponsor of today's video, Asus, who sent me one of their latest products, the brand new ZenBook Pro 14 OLED. Just 17.9 millimeters thin, weighing only 1.6 kilos, and with a long-lasting battery, the ZenBook Pro 14 passes the test for portability, and with the option to max it out with Intel's 13th Gen i9 13900H CPU, and NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4070, it also passes the powerful test with flying colors. Speaking of flying colors, the 14.5 inch 2.8K 120Hz touch OLED screen with Pantone validated colors means I'll be working with some of the most intricate and color accurate details that you can get in a laptop. One unique feature of this ZenBook is the all new ASUS dial, which is conveniently located in the top left corner of the touchpad. By using a quick swipe down to turn it on, the dial lets you quickly adjust just settings like zoom, brush size, opacity and track height in creative apps like Photoshop and Premiere. You can also use the dial for everyday functions like adjusting volume and screen brightness or to switch between apps. These are just some of the functions that you can use the dial for. The full list of what you can do with the dial is extensive. In a nutshell, this is a powerful machine in a portable package which has been built with creators in mind, leading to it being nicknamed the creative dream machine. If you're looking for a portable and powerful laptop, Top, which lets you create on the go, check out the link in the description below. I think when starting out with a new creative venture like this, whether that be streaming, starting a new YouTube channel or creating a podcast, it's easy for us to get wrapped up and overwhelmed with the little details, but that often becomes quite an exhausting path to go down. When people come to me asking for advice about starting a YouTube channel, which is a topic that I do know a lot about, I quite often quote the phrase, don't let perfect get in the way of good enough. That phrase was something that I tried to keep in mind during this process to remind myself that a minimal approach and setup is usually the best starting point for this type of project. Eventually, after watching a bunch of tutorials and troubleshooting a few little errors, I finally got the stream looking good enough and did a little test stream to make sure everything was looking and sounding okay, which thankfully, it was. So if you would like to hang out with me and Junior on stream and see how this experiment actually goes, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter and I'll keep you updated of when I'm live. I'm planning to stream on Sundays, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6pm until 8pm in the UK. If you're watching this video as soon as it's gone up, I'll actually be live on Twitch right now. So I'll put a link to the stream down in the comments if you want to come and hang out for my very first stream. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate you taking a second to leave a like and if you want to find out how this experiment ends up going, be sure to subscribe because I will be making a follow-up video revealing whether or not it was a success. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.